okay now to continue on i will create a simple form just to allow us to add our to do's in our to-do list and since you are using since we are using our suit i will go to components now go to grid uh, or no go to container and i will be using one of these examples so i'll be using this one and you can actually go here and just copy this and paste it in your app but uh, i will do it i will type it really fast just to make you understand our suit a little bit more so i will remove this oops i will remove this and i will have a div oops a div class name so you can't use a class uh, in JSX because this is a preserved keyword in JavaScript so I use class name yeah this is JS I think you know that already but this is JSX uh, not JavaScript I will give it a main class I will create these classes in a, in a moment but let's now continue I will use the container component this, this behaves a little bit like the container in Bootstrap now I will use I can import a couple of stuff so I will import the header I will import the nav nav bar component I will import the content component all of these are components by the way now the flexbox uh, grid now panel this is like the card and form form group the surface to format it now control label and form control then the last thing is the button toolbar this actually the like the line the blue line or not blue the yellow line underneath it this is from TS land so sorry ESLint this is like a linter that checks my rules and all my code if I am including something or defining something that I'm not using it it will put this uh, underneath it to, to notify me so inside our container I will have my header component and inside of that I will use the nav bar component and I will give it an appearance this will be inverse and I will have another component here is the header dot not header the navbar dot header and inside of it I will have a paragraph this will be our logo or our, like the title for this web page Redux React to do and I will give it actually a class name I'll call it navbar brand and outside our header I will use the contact whoops the PC just froze but I will use the content component to put my content usually in our suit use this component to put stuff inside for displaying uh, purposes I will use the flexbox uh, grid so I will justify everything to the center and I will use I will use the same component but inside of it there is another component called item so like this and here you will give it how much columns you will uh, you will have so I will have 12 columns okay now I will have like a card which is the panel component and I will add the header property you can actually pass here another HTML tag so I'll pass H3 this would be add to do and I will have borders in this card now I will have here my form I'll make it fluid then my form I mean this is like I think standard stuff now form group I will have 
one input and one button so we'll have a control label component what you want to do and this will have a form control name will be task and another will create another form group inside our form inside of this we will have the button toolbar component we will have inside of it a button no a, a, a suit button with the appearance of primary and the text will be create yeah so this is our form um, it's just an empty form it's not, it's not making anything at the moment but I won't use the default styles I will use the dark so actually it's called rsu-dark so let's run this and take a look at it and let's, let's, let's run in the background and let's go to our app.css and let's add some rules here so our main class will have min height of 100vh this is will be always uh, 100 of the current view height so no matter what device you are on this will be 100% uh, now main rs content this is the class that will exist on the content component this one this will have padding 20 pixels margin 20 pixels and height of 100 view h and nav this is this class here nav bar brand this is our main class it's a, a wrap up to, on everything so this will have a padding of 18 pixels by 20 pixels and display uh, inline block so this is now our web page uh, I believe let me turn off my dark reader so yeah this is it this is how it looks without anything uh, they have really cool dark theme so yeah we will be now working this so the idea when the user types something here and hit to create we will display it here and to do that we will dispatch an add to do action which will call our reducer at the end and we will display them with the for loop here in another component so we need, now we will have two components the main one, the main one which is the app that contains the form and dispatches actions to ab about creation of a to do a to do uh, task and a second component that displays them and have a, a button that uh, can, that using it we can delete a specific to do um, actually you can just copy paste all of this I will put a link in the description for the exact uh, file or the exact version of the current file so you can just go th to that link and just copy everything from here and uh, start uh, you don't need to type with me this but I thought I will record it so it went got lost yeah that's it thank you